In their critiques of Dr. Peter Boghossian's book, A Manual for Creating Atheists, and the treat epistemology movement it inspires, Christian apologists Tom Gilson and Dr. Tim McGrew claim Dr. Boghossian is attempting to redefine faith as part of some Orwellian plot to control people by controlling language. Is that what street epistemologists really do? Belief without evidence is his, faith. is his first definition, and the second is very uh, cheeky as well. It is pretending to know things you don't know. So pages 23 and 24, those are the two definitions, and I dare say that aside from Ambrose Bierson, Mark Twain, and Peter Boghossian's internet followers, there are very, very few people who will find those useful definitions or helpful definitions or accurate definitions. Except that in his book, Dr. Boghossian doesn't claim that these are the correct dictionary definitions. Instead, he proposes that this is what people actually mean when they use faith as an epistemology, as a way of knowing their beliefs are true. On page 23, he writes, Faith is the word one uses when one does not have enough evidence to justify holding a belief, but when one just goes ahead and believes it anyway. And on page 24, if someone claims to know something on the basis of faith, they are pretending to know something they don't know. The reason Boghossian is important on this point is a couple. One is that he is really building what he calls an army of street epistemologists, which is well, a term we'll we'll explain later, but it's um, people who are, whom he's training through this manual. Mr. Gilson and Dr. McGrew might not like these proposed definitions, but street epistemologists aren't actually forcing them on anyone. We simply ask people how they justify their beliefs. If they use faith to do so, we want to explore whether that is a reliable pathway to knowledge. How do you know that what you believe in is true? It's a matter of faith. Oh, faith? Okay. Yeah, I've heard that before. What, what does faith mean to you? Faith is believing in something you can't see, feel, or touch. Oh, something really? Something intangible. What, you know, the definition of faith, where did you get this definition of faith from? That, that faith is belief without evidence, or that it's pretending to know what you don't know. Hey, but it's my faith. I mean, okay, faith. So what does faith... definitely plays a big part of it. What does faith, faith mean to you? Believing in something that I've never seen. I've never mm. seen Jesus, or I've never seen God, but I believe it's there. What does faith mean to you? Um, There's lots of definitions. I've, I've talked to a bunch of people about it, just trying to narrow down kind sure. of what faith is. I mean, faith to me is just having an absolute belief and you don't really have to see it to believe it just mm -hmm. know that it's out there and believing in it is what makes it happen how would you define faith faith i guess to me it would just be you know it's like a personal thing you know you understand me uh, within like your own self that you you think that something is and you have faith that it is you have faith because, I mean, if you don't, then what's the point of believing it? Um, what, what do you think faith is? Faith is either blind trust or it's um, a feeling that, a feeling you can't explain but you trust it. I don't know. What is your definition of faith? It's kind of just, um, you can't, ha you don't really have concrete evidence. You have personal experiences and it's kind of this feeling within you, but you're not going to be able to scientifically prove it your entire way through life. There are people who have said they died and they went to heaven and then they came back, but that's not physical evidence for the rest of us to go off of. Mm -hmm. And so that's really just faith that we have to believe without any scientific proof, any tangible evidence that that's what's going on. You know, the definition of faith, where did you get this definition of faith from? Let's keep talking about how we justify our core beliefs and explore whether or not these methods are reliable ways of knowing what is true.